Hello everybody, this is Librarian Caitlin here in the Young Adult Department at the Levittown Public Library. Today we are going to have a tutorial for the Learning Express database. Learning Express is a great resource for both academic pursuits and career and job preparation. So today in our tutorial I'll go over both aspects of this database. To access the Learning Express database, you start on the Levittown Public Library webpage on the home page. You're going to hover over research and history in the bar and you're going to see, select databases. Databases are arranged by subject or by letter. If you don't quite remember what a database is called, you can go in here and take a look. Learning Express is under education and careers and this is Learning Express right here. So we're gonna click. You can access Learning Express Library in the library itself or at home. And because the library is closed indefinitely to just regular patrons in and out of the library itself due to COVID, we are going to show you how to access it from home. So click on From Home. To access all of the components of Learning Express Library, which includes tutorials, tests, resource, and videos, you do need to create a, an account with them. It's free, and it you just need to provide your contact information. So we will start on that here. We're going to register. You have Levittown Public Library, first, last name, email, password. So this is the landing space and homepage for the Learning Express Library. As it says here, you'll get tests, tutorials, eBooks on a large variety of subjects and all kinds of things. Um, if you if we scroll, you'll see different modules. You have career preparation, job and career accelerator. If you're taking a GED or high school equivalency, we have materials here, college test prep general school prep, college students, um, adult core skills, computer skills, and some resources in Spanish. So I like to start in my center. Anything that you're working on will be amalgamated here. Um, there's a career dashboard, a school finder dashboard, scholarship finder dashboard, um, and those are all contingent on different modules, the different modules that we were looking at in um, a little bit earlier. So you can access all the centers here. Um, I think the most important ones for the teens in the young adult section are career prep and job and career accelerator, these two right here. Also the college admissions test prep and to a lesser degree school center, college students, and core skills and computer skills. So we can start in the academic section by going to the school center. We'll start there. Uh, most of you are in middle or high school. So let's just take a look at high school. Um, it's pretty it's pretty basic and pretty broad, uh, but there's valuable stuff to be seen in this particular section. So, you know, you have your math, you have your English, logic. I don't. That sounds fun. Technology, social studies, um, and science. And each subject, they don't all have the same or the same amount of practice and resources, but you'll find them in different buckets of tutorials, ebooks, or tests generally. Um, this is not like tutor.com where you will have an interactive experience with some kind of tutor or expert. It's more you're doing the practice and sometimes you can submit the answers and get the answers back but it's not it's not going to be explanatory or tailored to your experience so let's take a look here at the tutorials in the math just to get a look at what it's like you'll get a whole list of different things that you can look at here statistics um, functions geometry algebra basic math stuff like that so um the more important resource for you guys, I think, is the College Admissions Test Prep Center. This is really valuable because you can go down the list, ACT, SAT, PSAT, AP, or the TOEFL, 
um, and college admissions essay writing. But these three up here, ACT, SAT, PSAT, and the AP exam, so four in total, they have really detailed um, modules and tutorials, introductions, and then also practice tests. Lots and lots of practice tests are all free. So what that would look like is, so like you can choose different sections based on which ones you need more practice with. So this is the English practice test area and there's about, there's four different practice tests. Um, so when you click on a start, uh, to start the test, you can take a look and it will give you the instructions and you can choose a different a bunch of different test modes of simulations. It'll stop when the timer's up, like in real life, or you can do your practice. And if you want it to be timed, you can have it timed, but it won't be enforced. Or if you want to really just start at the beginning, you can do the learner section, which is as you go each question, it'll stop and tell you how to get those answers. Um, what that looks like in practice is like this. Um, you can read the selections, make the make your answers and record them and move to the next one. You can jump around, you can finish later, you can have them score. Um, it's actually a very, the t timer is up here in case you want to use it. We were in the practice mode, so while it will show you the timer, it won't stop the test once you run out of time. That's more of the, um, the simulation version. So like tutor.com, you know, the ACT and this, the SAT both have, um, we're going to close without saving. They both have practice tests. Um, but the nice thing about Learning Express is that you also have AP exams and AP exam. And when you click through to any of these subjects, they also have practice tests, which is not really found in a lot of other places. So you have your chemistry, computer science, English Lang, English Lit, um, European history, psychology, statistics, all of them. So like, let's take a look at world history. Um, okay, so you have your resources. You have two tests, free, completely free, and it's going to be the same like as the ACT where you have the simulation, the practice, and the um, learner mode. And then there's also these down, uh, these test guidance guides. So it'll be very, very broad, but it'll explain how the test is made up. So you can see what the exam will look like, section one, section two, how many multiple choice, how many short answer, how many DBQs, and how many essays, stuff like that. Um, and then if you go up, you can learn more each subject and each test will have this. It will give you more generalized information. So about the AP exam, practice for AP exams in general. And that is, a re these are really good um, to access from your home, uh, especially if you can't get into libraries or can't get a hold of your own practice tests. And you can print a lot of these tests out, do it on your own um, schedule and do it that way. The other aspect of Learning Express Library that is applicable to your um, beginning to get into the career world, getting a job, is the career prep and job career accelerator sections of this database. In career prep, you can click any of these links and learn about general skills or more specific careers. So a lot of these careers, they're, there's not too many of them and they're very specific and you're not going to find out a lot about more niche or newer careers, but you can find a lot of general workplace skills. That is where I think Learning Express shines. Um, you can also prepare for a general civil service test in case you are looking to go into the government. Um, the one that's the most helpful, I would say, is the Job and Career Accelerator because that is where you can learn how to build a, an, an attractive resume, how to write a cover level, a cover letter. Um, you can also search for jobs and internships. It is 
uh, and integration with Indeed.com. So if you are searching on Indeed, it's the same search engine, but I find that actually that the interface on Learning Express is a bit cleaner than the one, than Indeed just in general. It also gives you interview tips and career books, and you can also do some college searching with schools and scholarships here. Um, there are a million ways, you can click around on here for hours. Um, I'm not going to go through each one, but I would highly recommend that you go through. And these other sections, some of them are applicable, some are not, um, like the school center, like I was saying before. It's very general. Um, it's not going to be tailored to your curriculum, but it might be helpful to brush up on some things. Um, adult course skills are good in that you can improve some general skills if you need brushing up and computer skills. It's very basic and I'm sure you as teens who are working with this stuff every day don't need to look into it, but some, some of this other computer graphics, um, software tools, those are very helpful. So this is a really great resource to get both um, practice tests and job and career advice.